Please welcome Julie Walters. She drives me crazy. <laughs> I'd like them to come and live in my house. Okay, there you go. That's a deal. This is. Right. <laughs> could live in a cupboard and come out. In, I suppose they've come out of the cupboard a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see? Right. Julie, how lovely to have you back on the show. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, it's a pleasure, Jonathan. Okay. Uh, how was your summer? How's your summer been? You've been busy. Did you have a holiday? What did you get up to? What did I do? I did a bit of pottering. Oh, lovely. Harry, as yeah. in Harry. Oh, you were doing Harry Potter, the new Harry Potter film. Yeah. Wonderful. I finished that now, and we went on holiday to Cornwall. Fantastic. Oh, it's a lovely part of the world, isn't it? Well, it is. And the weather was absolutely amazing. You wouldn't want to go anywhere else, would you? What about uh, television? Do you watch TV much? Did you watch Big Brother oh, or yeah. Summer? I Ge did, absolutely. Genuinely, you're a fan? No, absolutely. And like, every year, I think, no, I'm not watching it this year. I'm not going to watch it. But, you know, my daughter watches it. So I think, well, I'll just see who's come in, you know. And then, of course, completely hooked. Yeah, completely yeah. Completely hooked. And they're back. They feel as if I know them. Isn't it so weird? Because we do. You feel like you know the people you've seen on the show and you've seen them... But much more than an actor. It's not, not like an actor in a soap. You re well, I mean, you've seen them doing everything. Yeah. I can't... In I mean, I would be constipated for three months if I was in some... <laughs> I mean, well, you would, wouldn't you? I mean, it'd be hard enough as it is. <laughs> <laughs> but... But, you know, uh, it's refreshing to hear you say this because I know a lot of performers, a lot of actors uh, often say they don't like the reality shows because they feel it's taking work away from actors. It's uh, an entertainment show in which people aren't, you know, the skills that you've acquired to perform aren't required anymore. Well, no, it's a completely different ball game, isn't it? It's a different game. Altogether, it, yeah. Yeah. If you were asked to do one, and I'm sure people would love to have you, if they asked you to do a celebrity Big Brother or that one where they put people in the jungle, and you know, would, would you consider even for a second doing one of those shows? No. No. <laughs> I think I'd go mad. I think I'd get insane. I can't imagine what it would be like to be cooped up like that because you have no distractions. That's why yeah. everything is so sort of exaggerated, isn't it? The relationships crazy. are so exaggerated because there's no books, there's no telly. I've considered, you know, I, I, I love the idea of going in because I'm a really, I'm such a likeable person. I figure I would win, <laughs> right? And yet That's I right. fear that people would see my worst habits. <laughs> Um, let's talk, before we talk about your new movie, which happens this weekend, let's, you yeah. mentioned Harry Potter, and let's deal with that, because I, I, I've loved, I love the Harry Potter books, which I read with my children, and I enjoyed them for my, myself as well, but also the movies have been a tremendous success. Yeah. This, the new one you showed, is this, this is the fourth one? This is the fifth the one. The fifth one, okay, oh, that's right, we've seen the four. Uh, and the books are, are getting increasingly dark and, mm. and more mature, which kind of suits the, the fact that the children are growing up, of course. And is that yeah. strange for you? Because you've known them, you know, I mean, you've worked with all of them when they were, how old were they in the first movie, about nine or ten no, or something? Yeah, about eleven, weren't right. they, eleven, twelve. And now they're all in their late teens. Yeah, yeah, no, well, the other time I go back, they're sort of like two foot taller and yeah. bigger and, oh, it's lovely, it is very family-ish. And those kids are amazing. I mean, when you think that they're sort of, they're probably the most famous actors in the world. They're yeah. incredibly sort of grand. I don't know how they've managed it. I guess their parents help keep them to yeah. be sane and normal. And, yeah, 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 really good. I mean, well, we had Daniel on the show and he was charming. I thought really yeah. sweet and charming. And I know he's in Ricky's new series, so we, I think we have a clip of that to show, which is obviously he's. It's uh, I don't know why Ricky has people in the show. It's like he just brings them on. He, <laughs> it makes them look horrible, really, doesn't he? It's, yes. it's like grooming, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that out for obvious reasons because. Yeah. <laughs> Because the court case hasn't been settled yet. Now, Julie, <laughs> uh, um, Rupert Grint, who's tr yeah. terrific I I in the movies, the Harry Potter movies, of course, is in your new film with you, yeah. which must be lovely. And I would have thought a very different experience for you working with him over a long period of time and yeah. actually really bouncing off him as different characters as opposed to the Harry Potter movies. Tell yes. us about the roles you play in the new film, Driving Lessons. Well, he plays this boy, Ben, who comes from a deeply religious family and they're very sort of repressive and there's problems at home. And uh, he has to get a summer job, and so he, he, he answers an advert in Hello, Jesus, and um, <laughs> to help in the house and the garden of this old actress, yeah. played by myself. And um, so she is uh, sort of slightly eccentric, and she's lived on her own a long time. She's sort of a bit of a damaged soul, and um, she had tragedy in her life. And um, so she's kind of strange, and nothing like he has ever encountered in his life. And the two of them form this sort of odd relationship. You know, without... I mean, I'm, I'm not just saying this to flatter you. I don't want to blow smoke up your backside. No, no, yeah. Although please, I love it. Literally, that would be quite an interesting experience. But, <laughs> um, uh, I, I, you know, I always enjoy seeing your films. I know when, when Judy's in a film, I know there's a performance for you. I, I relax because I know it's going to be good. I really do. Oh, thank okay? you. Okay? Um, but I was curious what you know, I thought, does that put pressure on you? Because people expect so much of you. 
And I wonder whether you feel that, whether you're aware of that, and, and do you ever still get nervous when you're working? Is that ever something that you have to deal with? Oh, yeah. It's really weird you should ask me that. Because, it, actually, this is much more nerve-wracking than really? going onto a set. Yeah. Why is that? Well, I suppose it's because you feel you've got to give a performance of sorts, but you don't know what it is. Yeah. You don't you know that you're going to ask about the film, and you don't, you know, but you don't know what it's going to be, you don't know what the atmosphere is going to be. You, you know what I mean. It's, and I suppose it's, it's also, more... there's nothing to hide behind in no. terms of someone's written something for you. Yeah. And it, so this, but I do, yeah, the stage is probably more nerve-wracking, well, it is much more nerve-wracking than film, first night. They say that it's like a road accident, you know, and I think if, for I actors. can imagine that must be hideous. Yeah, I always ruin the first night performance. <laughs> it's like I'll do it anyway because, you know, it's better than trying to do it. And right. yet, do you enjoy, when, you, when you've got it right and after you've got over that first night hump? Oh, yeah, you... stage is fantastic. Yeah, once you've, once you've over the first night and the critics have gone and everything and it's a real audience, you know, then it's fantastic, yeah. But I guess it's film, I mean, it's film that we, you know, most of us get to see you in. It's on yeah. film, it's on television. Um, that the, isn't as scary, no. no. But well, I suppose, what, because there's not an audience there, or...? There's not an audience, and you've got a chance to do it again, and it's a little microscopic bit of the script, you know, yeah. and you're going to do it a million times, you know that. First of all, you'll rehearse it for the cameras, then it's your shot, then it's his shot, then it's whatever, you know. Do you, so, are you comfortable seeing, watching yourself back? Do you, when you see a movie with yourself, you know, when you just go to the editing <laughs> period, you know, is it something you enjoy? Or is it something that you find difficult? I used to hate it. I mean, it's fine now, but I used to, the first time I ever saw myself, I thought, oh my God. You know, but then you sort of get over that. Yeah. And now, no, I don't mind that at all. Because for some of us, it's like I knew being very attractive, I was right, it would hold me back. But, yes, you know, I, I understand yeah, that. Yeah. Some people don't take you seriously when you're no. just a pretty boy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like me and Johnny Depp, but we've overcome that. Yeah, yeah. And now people do see the, the talent behind it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, driving Lessons, it's, it's a charming film. It's funny, it opens, I believe, uh, tonight in the UK. Yeah. Um, we're going to show you a clip now. The character's called Evie, I believe, is yeah. that right? Uh, this is Julie as Evie in Driving Lessons. <laughs> it's really lovely. Um, even when you were, you know, first performing, you got to play old ladies, it seems to me. I know, I love old always... ladies. And I, I've always loved them. Well, I think it's because my grandmother lived with us for such a long time, you know, when I was a kid. So she was a massive influence with her two strokes. So are we... <laughs> <laughs> are we seeing her on screen, then, when you play something like that? Is it her influence on her? I don't know. I think the fascination with her... I must have looked at her an awful lot as a kid. She was fascinating, slightly potty, you know. And um, so I think it's that. And then Victoria wrote me loads of... Yeah. So this, it went from there. But whenever I meet you, I'm always a bit surprised to see you standing up straight, because I'm so used well, to no, seeing you kind of like this. You oh, must it's been... a massive effort to stand up straight, though. I actually want to be like that. <laughs> this isn't, that's well, really comfortable. Well, that was in the um, Acorn Antiques, the, uh, the, the stage musical version. Oh, yeah, that's even. attractive, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but going out, I mean, like, it must kill your back going out and doing that every night. Yeah, no, it? that was a bit much. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, it was. And doing the dancing and the singing like that. Singing's yeah. really hard. The rest of the time, really muscular. <laughs> so to do it like that, <laughs> I know, yeah. How many weeks did you do it for? How many months? 16 weeks I did. That was enough. I was knackered by the end. It, it must be. Well, the singing stone. and the dancing and the crouching and the Yeah, and the running up and down. Oh, yeah, no. But it was really fantastic. Would you ever go back and do it again if they said, let's do it again for a month or two? No. You wouldn't revisit it? No. OK, well, this may be the Don't only chance you get to see it again. Here we go. <laughs> oh, but that's fabulous, isn't it? That's fabulous. Oh, God. Uh, I'm hoping next time we meet you'll be Dame Julie at the very least. You, oh, uh, no, what absolutely. What in Panto? I, no, no. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Julie Walters. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good luck in the movie. Julie Walters, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Julie. She's lovely, isn't she?